Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the village of Groton, New York, with this nitwit right here, who goes by the channel name of Paul Hansen, as he attempts to, well, audit the local police department in the hopes of getting a lawsuit, I suppose, because he is so desperate to get arrested, as you will see in this video. Not only is he desperate to get arrested, but, well, he tends to get a lot of things wrong. I mean, more so than ass Elmo. Now, before we continue on, I would like to thank Frauditor News Network for giving me this video. And uh, believe me, I will be discussing the reason why she had to give me this video later on down the line. So you won't want to miss out on that. So stick around to the end of the video and you will see the, well, funny rationale behind this whole thing. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, guys, police vehicles only. Um, it says police vehicles only. I don't see any restricted personnel signs back here. Oh, typical dumbass reasoning. It says police vehicles only, so that's gotta mean that I can go through there. Wow, your sense of logic is, well, grievously astoundingly stupid. So it kind of makes me wonder if you were one of those people that engaged in the Tide Pod Challenge a few years back. Yeah, you probably were one of those uh, people that did engage in that challenge and ended up with a few less brain cells than you went into it with. Um, no restricted area. Um, fire lane. Yeah. Um... Yada, 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 whatever. Let's move on. Can I help you? No, not right now. Thank you, though. Well, well what are you doing? Oh, just walking around. How well, are this, you? This is not a building that you can just walk around in. What do you need? Um, nothing right now. Then I need to ask what you're doing. Yeah, I'm journalism. Oh, yeah, journalism. Yeah, sure, okay. Are you sure you're just not using the First Amendment to your advantage to just uh, be a complete and total asshole toward anybody that uh, you don't like? Because you do realize that freedom of the press doesn't mean that you have extra rights. It just means that you have the right to publish your stories without government interference. Wait, yeah, that's right. I forgot you were a Tide Pod Challenge winner, so you lost a few brain cells, so you can't figure that out on your own. Okay. Is there some specific question you need? Not right now. Okay. May I ask you who you are? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the police lieutenant here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, I'm Paul. Paul? Paul? Uh, just Paul for now. Okay. All right, if, you, if you have no business here, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, is this not the police department? This is. This is. Do you need the police department for anything? Um, not yet, no. Okay, then this is not just a building you can just walk around in. So this isn't a public building? It's a, it's a public if you need the police assistance or if you need the fire department, which is back there. But if you don't need the assistance, we don't have, we don't allow people to just come walking in and out. See what I'm saying? So, I mean, you, it is a public building though. It's yes. a public building. If, okay. if you need the services of the, of the, of the departments that are in here. See what I mean? Okay. So it's public. Well, uh, you well, can come in here and, and ask for assistance with the fire department or the police department. Mm -hmm. If you have a, if you have a situation where you need assistance or you have any questions that you need, uh -huh. that's why I'm asking you. Do you have a question or do you, do you have a, do you need assistance with anything? Uh, um, but just come in here filming things. We don't allow that. I mean, if, unless you have a, a, a questions that we can answer for you. 
I, I will. Just, just not yet. I kind of need to see what's around. Well, that's not going to be, that's not going to be welcome. So this, is this private? You don't, you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm understanding what, I may, I get the point you're saying. I can't okay. be in here unless I have business here, right? Right. I have business here. What's your business? Documenting the building. What are you documenting? Hey, dumbass. He just explained to you that there's very specific rationales of why somebody would come in here to begin with if you need police services or fire services. So uh, just documenting the building is not a legitimate reason to be in there, mostly because this is a police department, and I'm sure... Uh, victims of crimes certainly wouldn't appreciate you being in there trying to film them should any of them show up and ask for help. But of course, you don't really think about that kind of thing. Now, do you? Nope, in fact, your attention is quite clear later on considering that you seem to be fishing for a lawsuit. So which begs the question, if you're fishing for a lawsuit, why the hell did you post this video in its entirety on the internet? Because now that I know where this took place at, because you certainly didn't tell us, then somebody can make a little phone call to this place and let them know what your intentions are and show this video and it'll be significantly uh, much more difficult for you to even have a case. Something else you didn't exactly think about now, did you, dumbass? The building. What about the building? Just the building. Is, is there a problem with me documenting the building? Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you go up to the village office and ask them if you can do it? If there's a reason for so you So I, to I need permission? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, di I didn't know it's I needed... It's owned by the village. By the people? Well, maybe. Yes? Could be. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, ultimately, This is yeah. owned by the people. The village, Can of, we the agree? village of God. Okay. So, but the people of God just can't walk in here whenever they want. Unless they have business. They I have, have business. business. What's your business? Documenting. What this is, is a circle, sir. Yeah, it is a this circle. This is a circle. So I'm just going to ask you to leave. Okay? Why don't you leave? So, Paul. Am I being... I will only leave under threat of arrest. Are you uh, threatening... No, no. To, Then I'm not going to leave. Well, then I'm, I'm not going to... I'm only going to leave under threat of arrest. Well, then I'm not going to let you pass this point, so... So you are going to detain me? No, I'm not detaining you, but you're not going to... But go you are going to restrict You're not movement. going any further than this right here. So if you want to, so I can't. You, so you, no, no, if you want to document, not, if you want to document from this hallway out to the the street, go ahead and document. These, can I literally get these signs upon appointment? Yes. No, just to point my camera at these awards right here that go you have. Ahead. Go ahead. Even, but not the ones behind you. No. Okay. Can I zoom in on those? We can do whatever you want. Okay. So this is the restricted point. Listen, now. Paul, I'm not going to get into that. I, 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 Obviously, you're looking for an issue. I'm not looking for an issue. I'm looking to have my rights protected. I'm okay. looking for a free press and government transparency. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I mean, you see that this is... I'm not saying you have anything to hide. I'm just seeing what's so wrong with a guy with a camera. Now, did he say he had anything... Uh, against a guy with a camera? No, he did not, because you do have a combination of a fire department and a police department here, which is a huge security issue right there. Uh, so therefore, they don't want any random dumbass coming in here and, uh, well, potentially stealing anything like equipment or information. But again, because of your limited mental capacity, you don't have the ability to figure that kind of thing out. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? Because, well, they don't need you in here being a liability to all that. Now, do they? Look, I I'm not afraid of the camera. I'm not saying you are afraid of the camera. I'm just saying you're not letting me walk through. What do you need to document? If you if you the tell building. me if you tell me what you're specifically looking for, I'll walk with you. Well, well, you can document whatever you want to document, and then then that's going to be it. Not looking for anything specific yet. I can just say you had, not saying you do. Say you had something terrible going on in here, okay. and the guy with the camera wanted to walk in. Wouldn't it be a little odd to restrict his movement? That is an incredibly vague uh, 
uh, scenario right there. And there's no specific uh, argument right there or anything like that. Something terrible, I mean terrible by whose definition? Because what could be terrible to you could be just a, another day, another dollar for these guys in here. I mean, they do deal with a lot of BS being a uh, fire department and police department. So uh, get a bit more specific because that, like I said, that was quite vague. Depends on what you wanted. To document. The, this is a circle. This is a circle, sir. I'm... Again, I'm going to correct you on something. You see, what you're doing is engaging in circular reasoning. It's not a circle. It's circular reasoning. So Get it right, dumbass Elmo. Oh, wait, you're not dumbass Elmo. I'm sorry. Uh, force of habit, because that guy's a complete ignoramus to begin with, and he does a lot of circular reasoning himself. Uh, okay, so... You, you want to give me your last name and your and what your address and stuff? Uh, because I don't know what you're documenting. That's protected under the Fourth Amendment. You need reasonable, articulable suspicion okay. to get my Well, then I'm not going to let you pass this point if I only know your name is Paul. Uh, okay. Dude, the uh, Fourth Amendment protects you from unreasonable searches and seizures of your personal property and effects. It doesn't exactly say anything about your name, which is, well, public record, and your driver's license, which is owned by the government. Whenever uh, you register yourself to be a licensed driver within your state, which you have to show when you are in the middle of a traffic stop anyway. So shut your dang mouth about the Fourth Amendment because you don't know what it says. How are you, sir? Good, you? Mm, pretty good. Would you like a donut? Uh, would thanks you like for a, would you like a, a treat? Thanks for the offer, but I'm good now. Okay. This is it, man. Okay. This is really, it's this simple. I don't okay. know. I don't know what you're looking for, but. I, is this the restricted point right here? This, yeah, you're not going past that point. That's a patrol. I was just asking. Can I get your identifier, usually badge number? Lieutenant Boyce. Yeah, Detroit but, Boyce, badge yeah. number 80. 80, thank you, sir. All right, do you work here? You don't work here? No. He's here on business. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I don't need any of your information, though. Am I preventing you from your business? No, you're preventing me from finishing my business. Well, oh, well, continue. I'm, I'm not here to stop not, you. You're not part of the business, so I'm waiting for you to leave so I can continue my business. Uh, well, this is a public space. Okay. My business All right. Is yeah. Then you should probably go in a private okay. area. All right. There's I'm no gonna, expectation. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to ask you to leave. Please. please. I'm please. physically please. being moved right yeah, now? Yeah, keep going, keep going. You've been here, you've seen what you need to see. Sir, I don't consent to any searches okay. or seizures. Okay, Oh my goodness, dude, you're getting a little ahead of yourself on the script right there because you're not being arrested. You say that right around the time of the arrest when you know it's coming. Right now, you're just being escorted off the property, or you should be anyway. But come on now, dude, at least memorize the frauded or script uh, better. In fact, as Denver Metro Audits would say, do better, dude. I don't consent to nor searches okay. or seizures. Are you done with your business? No, sir. I'm a journalist, an independent journalist exercising my freedom of press right. Okay. Sir, this is protected under the Fourth Amendment okay. in every single case law in every single okay. state. Did he really just refer to the First Amendment as the Fourth Amendment? And did he say that it was protected by every single case law in every single state? Yes, of course he did. He did say that. And it would be at this point that I would ask for a citation. But I don't think it would be necessary at this point because you just can't say every single case law out there refers to your particular situation because that would be a sign that, well, you haven't done one ounce of research at all. So I uh, I would just toss that statement right out the freaking window along with your sorry ass. Then there's the issue of you mixing the four First Amendment up with the Fourth Amendment. I mean, 
Good freaking grief, dude. Even S. Elmo wouldn't be that incompetent. I don't know what your problem is, to I be don't honest. Have a problem. Then why can I not exercise as my First Amendment right to freedom of press? I am a journalist. You haven't shown me any 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 uh, credentials that you are a journalist. I don't know who you are. So the freedom of press you, is you, not to. Who do you who do you work for? I'm independent. Okay. But I need to know who, what your name is. Paul. Paul what? Oh, that's protected under the Fourth Amendment. You need reasonable, articulable suspicion to force me to okay. identify myself. All right. So, I mean, this is what you're getting paid to do. This is what we're going to keep doing. I mean, you, you make the choices here. I'm not making I'm any not, choices. I'm going to stand here. You are apparently not going to get your business done because I am here. Um, your move. Okay. So now you're admitting to obstruction of official government business in the state of New York. Uh, so... You're actually admitting to a crime at this point. Well, all I've got to say is, well, good luck with your lawsuit now, dumbass, because you are pretty much trespassing at this point and obstructing official government business. So, yeah, dude, I don't foresee you uh, actually going through with the lawsuit if you actually try to show this to a judge. I mean, you got to be, well, incredibly stupid to begin with. I don't. I don't have any move. Okay, I will. If you, wanna, if you want to walk through the building, I'll show you the building, and then you're going to leave. That's it. That's the way it is. You can show me the building, but you don't control when I. Yeah, I, I will control when you leave. Yes, I will. I mean, you can, but then there will be litigation. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to so, show me through the building? Yeah, I'll show you. So I can only walk through the building if you're walking me. Yes. Okay. Let's go do this. Let's go. Let's go. The only stipulation we don't want anybody in Yes, the I know. That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, he spends the next several minutes showing him the hallway only, but the fraudster does try to go into the restricted areas, and that's when it's pretty much time for him to leave. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? You guys don't get body cams here? No. Is that in the works, or are you guys just not interested in it? That's not a question that I need to answer to you. No, it's not. It's just a question. You don't need to do anything except uphold the oath you took to the Constitution. Isn't that right, sir? Are you done? Uh, no, not yet. What are what, what all to you? You've taken a picture of everything here. Uh, everything that I found interesting. I might find more things interesting that I want to take pictures of. You just took a picture of the whole thing, of the whole hallway. This is all. This is the only place you're gonna go. Okay, then this is the place I can be. Am I free to leave? Yes, please leave. Then I'm free to stay. Okay, no, you're not. Right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm gonna ask you to leave. You can ask. Let's go. Let's go. You, I, you, you, you know, you've, you've had your business here. Let's go. I'm not gonna. I'm not. Listen. I'm gonna tell you to leave, and then I'm gonna arrest you for trespass if you don't. Right. So I am being forced to leave under threat of arrest? Yes. That's all I need. Good. You see what you've seen? No, I got my, I got my litigations, man. Forced right. to leave under threat of arrest. That is important. Okay. Just, just want to get one more Let's use go. of force here. Let's go. Let's go. So one, one more time. Man, man, oh man, this guy is just making it so obvious that he's fishing for a damn lawsuit. I mean, at least learn from Long Island Audit or DMA or uh, even uh, Ch Chile de Castro. Don't make it so bloody obvious, dude. I'm not going to push it. Let's go. You, you physically are pushing me. I'm not going to push you Let's go. while Let's go. pushing me. Okay. Did you take a picture of that? Uh, I don't really need a picture of that. Okay. This is the story all I need right here. Okay, let's go. Are there any restricted areas in the back? Yes, they're all restricted. So in the back is restricted? Yes, thank you. So I cannot stand Thanks, Paul. in the back? Thanks. I'm going to the back. That's where I will be. I'm, I'll see you in the back. Wow, this is truly a textbook case of a fraudster. Well, trying to... Uh, 
fish for a lawsuit. I mean, come on now, dude. Like I said, you're making it way too obvious uh, for anybody to recognize what you're doing. If a prosecutor saw this video, man, oh man, they would have a field day with you. You would be an easy case to win. But of course, it's not over yet. He's going to try it again. But unfortunately, he's going to fail. Wow, dude. That's crazy. Forced to leave under threat of arrest. Oh my god, bro. Really? That's a public office. This is a public office. You know what? No, I'm going to take that arrest. I'm going to take this arrest. I'm going to go to court over this. A little longer than a few minutes later. I'll take the arrest and see you in court. Okay. I'm not going to resist in any way. I'll take the arrest and see you in court. Okay. Arrest me. Let's see, there's, uh, everything's locked. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, now you're good. Now you're good. Have a good one, bud. <laughs> see, perfect. Everything's fine. <laughs> Wow, doesn't know what he's talking about. No idea whatsoever. I have, I have police business. What do you have? I need to file a complaint. Regards to what? Regards to how I was treated on. And that's where the video ends, but there's a little bit more to this story right here. So you see, I was uh, watching uh, the Saturday Night Snafu with Hezekiah, Ray Ray, and Frauditor News Network on the uh, December 30th, 2023 edition of that particular show when Hezekiah decided to show the Frauditor News Network version of this particular video. And when I went into her description to see if she had a link to it, because she usually does have links to the uh, Frauditor video, Here's what I saw, that the video had been taken down by the frauditor themselves. So I figured I'd ask permission from Frauditor News Network to use the video. And here is what happened from there as soon as she found out what happened. <laughs> what a deuce could do. Well, what I wanted to say, the reason why I stopped it there is because I wanted to point out that, like, this video, to me, is a perfect example absolute by the numbers textbook example of what ray and i and even you we've had these we've all had this discussion before always say that a lot of these not a lot the majority of these new frauditors you can tell so blatantly obvious that he's just a random idiot who saw a bunch of youtube videos I thought, oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> right? Exactly, yeah. Did this guy show any signs of any intelligence at all to either of you? It's no. a protected Fourth Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> Good example. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's, it's been proven in every case law in every state. <laughs> yeah. Not even the ones that pertain to the First Amendment, just... Every single one in every state. <laughs> I was like, did I honestly just hear that? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, man, he doesn't even know the script yet, man. At least he's trying. He got the onus to make your own privacy part, right? Yeah, he did use the word onus, so he got that right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know that's a big word for him too. Right? Yeah. What do we already owe? Two tasings and a happy dance? Two tasings and a happy dance. You got it right. All right. So this uh this is for Willix and uh who was the other taser later? Taser later. Oh, <laughs> Did you want to do the happy dance first or tasing first? All right, yeah, let's do a happy dance for the tequila kid. All right, here we go. Round of applause for Ray Ray. <laughs> big hugs, happy dance full, and a round of applause for Broader News Network Tag. Oh, wait, hold on. So Black Car Night just said that the he took the video down. That's a bastard. He did. Oh, the one that you just covered? Yeah. Good. I guess I guess he got too much shit about it. Aw. <laughs> oh well. Good. He took it down on his channel. I guess he was getting too much flack. I don't know. People like, dude, you're an idiot. What the hell? You're an asshole. I hate when they do that. Because what about transparency? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> video unavailable. This video has been removed by the uploader. Nice. So much for transparency. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wow, what a chicken. That wow. was a quick victory. The first time we show it, he's already done. He's like, oh, shit, too many people yeah. are paying attention to this. Black Hat Night, I still have the video. If you want to do it, let me know, and I can just um, put the video on my on YouTube, like un unlisted or something, and you can just pull it off if you want. But let what a know. great way to end the year. We grabbed yeah. the new monitor and watched him die on the same day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's the old saying, if you can't take the heat, then get out of the kitchen. And, well, I guess since uh, Frauditor News Network put her version up before anybody else and left the link in the description box below, uh, well, I guess he just couldn't handle the criticism and ended up uh, quitting YouTube altogether because, well, he, he doesn't have any videos up. That only video he had up is, well... Gone forever now, except for uh, uh, the raw footage that uh, Cupcake had and passed along to uh, myself and other anti-auditors. So, dude, uh, let that be a lesson to you as well. If you decide to post anything on YouTube or any other platform, somebody is bound to download it and point out your stupidity. And if you can't handle the criticism then uh, this isn't the thing for you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?